Hey everyone, welcome to 7th JavaScript Basics tutorial in which I'm going to take a look at various data types in JavaScript. Let's start with the basics string as we've already seen in the last video. This is a normal normal string. We also have numbers. This is 42 and da da da, don't forget it. Let boolean is uh, boolean could be the true or either false right and with numbers you can have integers you can have doubles or floats whatever you want to call them it's no compulsory to write f or d or anything here if you're coming from any other language just go ahead and simply write your number booleans can be true or false right what else do we have we can have um we can have something known as arrays so arrays is basically nothing but just a bunch of collection of some data types so you can have one two three four five a b c in here right we have an undefined value undefined right we have something known as a null value null we have a lot of stuff, right? I, I'm not able to do, I will not be able to discuss all of this here, but we're gonna uh, come to that eventually. So we have all this stuff. We finally have something known as objects, which is interesting and you would be using this all the time. So object is basically a way to store key value pairs in JavaScript. So my key name, rather be in quotes, my key name goes with my value right now you need not to have quotes around the key name if your key name is a valid key name that is just like you know does not include dashes or spaces or anything like that it does not start with numbers and stuff like that however if you want to name your key anything you have to enclose them in quotes now you're free to use dashes or spaces or anything right you're free to do that all right now how do we access these data types? Well, string, as you know, can be accessed by just using the variable name, number, just using the variable name, boolean true. Now for arrays, what you want is, uh, let's say you want to get number four. Now, how would you access that? Well, you would write the name of the variable, that is array, and inside these square brackets right here, you're gonna write the index of number four. Remember, in arrays, the indexes start from 0. So index of 0 is 1, index of 1 is 2, index of 2 is 3, index of 3 is 4. So we're going to write 3 here, which would eventually give us 4, right? Array of 5 would give us A, right? And so on and so forth. We're going to access undefined one, just like that. I'm gonna, not going to write it null as just like that and just ignore these three for now we're going to come to that later on in the series to access object obviously just like arrays you're going to write object and inside the square brackets you're going to write the name of your key in this case it's key name now if you have spaces you can include space here and stuff like that however if you want to just write key name you can now access um, your key with the object dot key name instead as well but if you include any dash or space or anything you have to enclose this in quotes and uh, you have to enclose this inside the square brackets as well now this is actually same as object key name right this is just a cleaner way to access it object dot key name is same as object square brackets key name this is just a clear way right and obviously if you have spaces you do not have any option you have to use this way so this was a basic intro to data types in javascript and i'll see you then in the next video